it's hot out there. We're in the middle of a heat wave, of course, and some kids in Boyle Heights have been without a working refrigerated drinking fountain at their local park. Well, that's not good. No. But one frustrated grandma reached out to two on your side, and CBS 2's Christine Lazar got results. Leave it to grandma to speak up. That's right. right. She's not taking Love it. Love our grandmas. <laughs> <laughs> well, that grandma says she wants the city to make kids in underserved communities a priority, not just their wealthier neighbors. We were shocked at what we found when we went out to the park earlier this week. It's hard to believe unless you see it, but they have been using a garden hose to fill up a cooler for kids to drink out of at this city run summer day camp program in Boyle Heights. The same hose they use to wash the floors. They've been drinking water from the janitor's room, which is not good water. That's because the main refrigerated drinking fountain at Pecan Park is broken. How long has it been broken? How long have you not had a water fountain here? Um, for over six months. Margarita Amador sends her two grandkids to the summer camp. The heat this week has been in the upper 90s. It's urgent for them to have water. Our kids deserve to have water like every other park does. Amador says for more than a week, she has been emailing and calling the City Department of Recreation and Parks, and she got nowhere. Their excuse is, well, we have other jobs, and I understand they do, but... This is a priority. Fed up, Amador reached out to two on your side. Our kids are, are just as important as the kids in the west side. The Pecan Park Summer Program serves mostly low-income families. These are not kids who come to camp with fancy water bottles. We play over here and then we get thirsty and then we play again and then we get thirsty. There is one outdoor fountain not attached to the gym, but the water there comes out warm, and the kids tell us they don't want to drink from it. The homeless people use the water outside to wash themselves. When we reached out to Recreation and Parks, we were told they would look into the matter and get back to us. The very next day, we spotted city crews at the park fixing the fountain that had been out of service for months. Amador says the work crews were not happy that two on your side was there, but she didn't care. But that's the only way that they got things done. Otherwise, we'd still be waiting. So the city confirmed to us today that the fountain inside the gym is now fixed and working. The outside portion is still under construction. So at least now they won't have to drink water from that hose. Yeah. Now I did reach out to the city and I asked why was it broken for so long? And they have yet to get back to me with a response on that. But at least they have that water now. And you know what? Thanks to Grandma for getting in touch with you, Christine, yep. to, to providing that for these children. She is outspoken about her community getting everything that all the other communities in LA get. Somebody has to speak up. Yeah. Might as well be Grandma. All mm -hmm. right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. thank